there you see it. New York City FC, your 2022 Campeones Cup champions. That is their first international title. Of course, New York City FC joined Major League Soccer back in 2015. Let's start with New York City as we break this game down, Herc, because this does not look like the team that what we have known of New York City for the last couple weeks. They've been really, really struggling coming into this game. They look like the team that are the defending champions of MLS tonight. They do, albeit off of a very um, lackluster Atlas team who look like the team they've been So you're been saying it was season. more bad Atlas than good New York City? Well, this is a case of two teams where both teams had one win in the last two games, mm -hmm. uh, ten games, excuse me. Um, so one had to give. There had to be somebody today to lift the trophy. That is a reality. Atlas is a team that is struggling a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, like, they've not seen under the Orlegi uh, direction, Orlegi directivos. Given how much they've struggled, given how desperate they should have been, given the fact they're not going to make the playoffs this season. 1% chance. Shouldn't they have played better? Shouldn't this have been their kind of all or nothing moment? And it was season? because they rested players. Well, it didn't look like it. It, it didn't did look not like look it like performance. it. It looked pretty much like what, everything we've seen at Atlas. Now, I'm not going to make excuses for Atlas or the abysmal 18 months that Mexican mm -hmm. football, the collection Ooh, of, of losses that Mexican football has, has collected. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a team that went 70 years of sacrifice, suffering, of disappointment to finally win a championship. Mm -hmm. And you know what two seasons in the year are like in Mexico. And having won a championship in Mexico, I can tell you, if you get to the final, mm -hmm. and it's one of those winter finals, you've got three weeks to go on vacation. Not the three months that all of a sudden you get in Major League Soccer uh, that we see here. And in those three weeks, if you're a national team player, your vacation's gone. Mm. It's limited down. So if you go to another final like they did miraculously back-to-back, -back, the next time you get a break, it's like 12... 15 days. Now, limit that time. It's mental, it's physical fatigue, it came to its head, and this was just something that a lot of people saw coming. I think, Herc, an obvious factor, if you watch this game, and even if you listen to the broadcast and the guys that we're going to hear from in just a moment, was the facility. Yeah. Not, not necessarily oh, yeah. the atmosphere, but the facility itself, the field at Yankee Stadium. How big a factor do you think that was in the outcome? Well, New York knows how to play it to perfection, mm -hmm. and so, so forth is their record. You can see it in their record when they play at home. But Atlas is a team that very much des depends on transition. They're a team that's very much defend first with Coca. They defend first and then they break out. Mm -hmm. Very direct play with Julio Furch, and after that, it's Luis Quinones and what he can do in space. But when there is no open space, when the team in front of you is more creative, when they're sitting at home, where they're playing you pretty much off the park like they did today, you're going to see things like this. Yeah, I think the, the field is just a, it's a, it's a massive, massive factor in this game. I, I think you, you... Good and bad. For me, it's very bad. It's a yeah. very bad look. You know, you saw the guys talking about it on the broadcast. How can, you, how can you play a final there? I mean, the, the corner kicks are effectively throw-ins. And, and that's not to mention the huge swath of the pitch that you have carved out for, the, for the, the baseball diamond. You know what's worse is Major League Soccer promotes and advertises this as to, MLS goes to 180 countries. Mm -hmm. and this is a, such a great product. Well, here you are showcasing a great event to the rest of the world, and it's on a pitch like this. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.